hello friends welcome back again so today i am with another video for the uh, cse stream students computer science and engineering students this is the mathematics 2 and its subject code is bmat s201 so in this video let us discuss some passing strategies as you are the first batch you are writing this particular subject as already video has changed the pattern now so uh, in this video i want to try uh, to give you some passing hacks by which you can easily score also score in this particular subject and you will easily pass it okay so stay with me till end so that i will cover all the portions which you should cover over there so that it becomes easy for you people to pass this particular subject okay so my dear friends first of all uh, what should be the strategy of writing over there what should be the uh, passing modules over there so in this video we will discuss discuss it okay so uh, let's start without wasting any time so my dear friends first of all you just go through the module fifth you have to attempt first this uh, module fifth uh, just because the portion is little bit over there so let me uh, try to sort out this uh, the chapter name is numerical solution of ordinary differential equation that is ODEs so in this uh, particular chapter you have to cover this uh, modified Euler's method Taylor series method Runge Kutta method of fourth order and Milne's predictor corrector formula so there is a separate formula for each Euler's method is different Taylor series is different you have to do little bit differentiation over there and Runge Kutta method of fourth order also this is the uh, differentiative part over there and this Milne's predictor and corrector formula so there are formulas and i have separated uh, the important formulas video also so i will provide a, a link in the description box so you can check it easily and it will become easy for you to write down those formulas in your a4 sheet okay so you will easily uh, what we call practice these particular questions over there so only you have to do problems okay so no derivation of these particular methods over there so just focus on these four methods so that you can easily gain 20 marks these 20 marks are just in your hand i can see okay so next one is uh, module 4 this is also a simpler one you can also gain uh, 20 marks you can easily score 20 marks in this particular method also that is numerical methods one so first one was numerical method two okay this is a module fourth right so importance of numerical methods for discrete data in the field of computer science and engineering so this time as you know vtu has uh, just change the pattern just simply writing uh, applications for the computer science engineering and also for the other branches they will just uh, put the uh, title as importance of numerical methods for discrete data in the field of uh, suppose mechanical suppose electrical department okay so this time they have uh, as it is for the cic stream so they have included computer science applications and engineering okay so in this uh, what we call module over here you have to cover regular falsi method it is also a numerical based it is also a formula based you have to write down the formula and just put down the values over there no uh, rocket science in these particular concepts over here so then newton's Raphson method and interpolation using newton's forward and backward difference formula okay so you have to focus on this particular question it is a most important question one is the regular falsi and this one interpolation always asked in the vtu examination okay so i will discuss later on which notes uh, you should prefer over there so that it will be easy for you to understand the concepts next one is uh, newton's divided uh, difference formula and also langrange's interpolation formula so these are the concepts which you should cover in the first chapter and next one is uh, the numerical integration over there so trapezoidal concept simpson's one third rule and also three by eight rule so these are the formula based uh, what we call as concepts so you have to go through so it is according to your own choice what you prefer as i will prefer you just to go through both parts so that you can easily score 20 20 marks these are not uh, toughest uh, topics in this particular uh, module over here so these two modules are just passing modules my dear friends so don't leave anything from this much content okay so this is module 5 and module 4 then module 2 comes up this is the vector calculus i know most of the students are just struggling with this uh, calculus part over there but if you are good in the calculus part no uh, integration only differentiative part if you are good in it, these are very uh, easy concepts my dear friends so just introduction to the vector calculus it is not of the higher order okay basic concepts of the vector calculus in the computer science engineering okay first one is uh, you should uh, know about the directional derivative of uh, 
Suppose phi is equal to x square y z plus 4x z square. I have taken here the equation at points 1 minus 2 minus 1 in the direction of the vector 2i cap minus j cap minus 2k cap. Okay, so this is you have to find out the directional derivative of this particular phi function over there at points. Uh, points will be given over there. So just try uh, three or four problems uh, from your uh, notes so that um, it will be easy for you to cover this uh, question also direction, uh, directional derivative. Next part is f is equal to divergence of or you can say uh, delta into x y cube z square. So you have to find out the divergence of f vector and curl of f vector at the point 1 minus 1 1. So this is all again an important question <coughs> over there in the calculus part and also prove that the spherical coordinate system is orthogonal this may be the question over there as it is mentioned in the module question paper papers are not available for these particular subjects okay you are the first batch uh, writing this particular subject next one is uh, these type of problems uh, just try three or four also in this concept that is angle between the surfaces x square plus y square minus z square is equal to four and z is equal to x square plus y square minus 13 at 2 1 two points okay you have to find out the angles and also try for the solenoidal and rotational problems three or four if you just refer uh, the previous year papers of the 18 scheme my dear friend this is also the same syllabus but only the subject subject course are different you just go through the 2018 scheme papers so that you will get some idea how to cover these questions these are always asked in the video examination and they will just put these questions only for this subject also so uh, it doesn't matter so whatever may be the subject code you uh, over there you just focus on the previous year papers or 18 scheme okay right next one is model first uh, and in this there will be one definite question over there that is show that beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m uh, into gamma of n uh, divided by gamma of m plus n so this is the beta gamma relationship and it is one chapter in this particular module there are two two chapters one is the integral part multiple integrals part and this is a, a second part actually so beta gamma relationship this will be definite question over there so uh, try this this is a derivation no need to put the values numerical values over there just you have to prove this derivation okay next also it show that gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to under root of pi again a derivative part i know you are too matured uh, you are too good in the derivation part over there okay next one is uh, it's our part will be evaluation of the double and triple integral suppose i have taken here the double integration uh, if you are not good in integration part so you can leave it but uh, definitely try this double integration part okay so integral of 0 to 1 uh, integral of x to uh, root x x y dy by dx sorry dy into dx by changing the order of integration so you have to do the integration part here also there are triple integral questions there will be extra one integral over here so that you have to tackle these type of problems that is evaluation of double and triple integrals so this part is enough for this particular module and also i have mentioned uh, for the fourth and fifth you, you don't have to leave anything from as far as the syllabus is concerned for this particular subject so next one comes the new module which they introduced in the cs department this time and also in the electronic de electronics department that is vector space and linear transformation so as the non-availability of papers uh, no 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 paper are there available in the video site or even in the 18th scheme this was not the chapter over there so this time they have introduced it. so it will be very difficult to predict the questions my dear friends so that i have taken here the module question papers and according to the syllabus what questions will be there so you refer uh, the, in the first chapter uh, it is according to your own convenience uh, whichever is convenient for you so it is your choice my dear friends how you can choose uh, in these two parts whichever is sim simple one you just to go through according to me according to syllabus also so there is less content in the first chapter that is vector spaces so you have to solve some subspace questions linear uh, linearly independent and dependent sets and bases and dimensions okay so problems on basis of these concepts uh, uh, it is uh, what we call in the first chapter over there and in the R part there are a lot of concepts like linear transformations algebra of transformations matrix of a linear transformation a rank of nullity of a linear operator and rank nullity theorem inner product space and orthogonality problems so this is uh, enough content my dear friends uh, in the second chapter so you just go through the first uh, first part okay whatever will be uh, availability of notes uh, in front of you so you go through them also just because there is uh, no notes available for this uh, particular module actually this is a new module so whatever may be the what we call as uh, this content is available for you so you just go through okay so this much is enough content to pass this particular subject no need to go in the detail so don't 
take a dive in the vast syllabus as exams are near now only 24 days are left now so do well thanks for watching my video